It's a discovery that could save lives. Scientists have uncovered a new blood group called ER or ER, and experts say this could help doctors understand the health complications that arise when blood types are incompatible. The root of this story begins in the drama of some 30 or so people from different pockets of the world who experienced the adverse effects of those immune showdowns between a person and a transfusion or a person and their unborn child. The new ER blood group is the 44th to be added to the list alongside popular blood groups like AB and O. Researchers say there are a total of five ER antigens in this group based on genetic variations. When the body creates antibodies that match the ER antigens when it detects something foreign, this can lead to immune cells attacking the mismatched cells during a transfusion or pregnancy. Most people have the same version of the molecule and it's just a small number of people on Earth who are missing that molecule or have such different versions of it that when they confront the wild type or the common version, they make antibodies to it and reject that blood cell. Doctors found the new blood type after operating on a woman in the UK who unexpectedly lost her unborn child. Unidentified antibodies were found in the mother's blood, which led them to the discovery. While scientists say it may be rare, understanding it could be important for doctors who may be having a hard time diagnosing their patients. So in these exotic incompatibility scenarios, which happen rarely, when a person looks untransfusable or unable to be pregnant with a fetus with a different blood type, it raises the question of whether or not they themselves have a rare blood type. And so this, this is now a, a member of the family of rare blood type individuals. Canadian Blood Services says so far there are no known patients requiring the herb matched blood in Canada. In a statement, CBS says in part, we have a system and the laboratory tools in place to look for rare blood donors and to find antibodies in patients who may require this or other rare blood types. If we were to identify such a patient in need of herb matched units, we would work to find appropriate donors in Canada or internationally. There are many rare blood types out there but they all occur infrequently. And the challenge posed by the person who looks incompatible with everything is why? And this is now part of that library of possibilities. And so our job when we see someone who's very hard to transfuse is to try to find them a compatible unit of blood that's as like them uh, as possible. Which is why the Canadian Blood Services is encouraging people to roll up their sleeves and donate. If you're unsure whether or not you have a rare blood type, testing can be done on donation. Melissa Nakavali, City News.